Lee Frostwater to Gane. Handicap Hurdle is next then. Grade 3 Handicap, 2 mile, 3 furlongs. Top 1, Silverlock, Jim Murray, Indy Oldgate, Carla Regante, Miss Scotland, Paul Rhodes, Rod Laver, Paul Rhodes, Sunset Ride, Martin Leadham, Jasmine, Graham Clutterbuck, Black Widow, Molly at Surfer, Queen's Lock, Jim Murray, Fight the Power, Leon Van Rensburg, Dan City Yellow, Stu Gray, Rijkaard, Alex Cherry, Trojan General, Dan Orr French, the, the Fat Chef, Stu Gray, 12 Paces, Doug Warren, Paperwork, Obi-Wan, Twix, Alex Cherry, Ash Kalani, Japan, Doug Warren, Daughter Dear, Jamie Hopkins, Quick Gold, Darren Howells, Regazzoni, James Follis, and Surat Me Up, Derek Hinton. So away they go then. It's obviously a two entry race. Quite a few double entries in this as they take the first flight of hurdles, regulation hurdles here for this race at Oitoi. And Daughter Dear is the leader. I think of that little pathway with 12 paces in second as they race down towards the second of 12 that they are going to take. And Daughter Dear, 12 paces, and Rijkaard have gone a few lengths cleaner, although. 12 paces didn't jump that all that well as they shuffled back down into the pack where he's been chased by Black Widow and Silver Lock. But right card it is that leads then just on the outside of Daughter Deer. Little gap then to 12 paces and Black Widow and then Silver Lock twixes after that, then Indy Oldgate. Looks like we're going to get some jockey cam now. We're on Strap Me Up for Derek Hinson. I wonder if he meant to call that Strap Me Up oh, guitar players. What a Stratocaster, Fender Stratocaster guitar. They say strap me up. But uh, it, knowing Derek, it could be some sort of. Well, it could be anything really. <laughs> it could mean anything at all. So uh, <laughs> maybe we better leave that one. <laughs> so we race away towards the next then. And uh, we're now on Rod Laver. And that one's nice and simple because that was the Wimbledon winner in the 60s, 68 maybe, 67, 64. I can't remember exactly when it was but I know he was a top Australian tennis player of the 60s and Wimbledon's not far away is it so watch out for that one in a few weeks and now we're on Rijkaard in the lead and Rijkaard was a top Dutch footballer of course the World Cup starts on Thursday and the Dutch won't be in it which is amazing isn't it really no Holland no Italy no America probably just as well America not in it to be honest otherwise they'd have probably refused to go and caused all sorts of who are, but anyway, that's a different, different discussion for a different thing altogether as they race down towards number six, and Rijkaard is in the lead, and Daughter Deer is second, 12 paces is third, then comes Queen's Lock four, we dance in the yellow and strap me up after that, feel pretty tightly grouped, nothing gone on significantly into leading this race, most of the races so far today we've seen leaders trying to a few lengths clear and this Rijkaard seems quite happy to just coast along about a length clear not putting a great deal of pace to the race there's only a mile to go and Daughter Deer is in the second 12 paces is third and Queen's Lock is four they come to flight number eight and they skip over that one and the fat chef just started to struggle a little bit at the back and he's Rijkaard the leader by about a nick to Daughter Deer in 12 paces. Indy Oldgate coming around the outside. He's going well. Then comes Strap Me Up and Black Widow. Really nothing out of this yet. Even the fat chef isn't totally out of it. We've seen one or two this week come from way out off the premises to, to come through and get involved in a finish. So, not rule anything out yet. And Strap Me Up is the leader. With four and a half furlongs to race, Strap Me Up has just about taken it up on the outside of Rijkaard. But Fight the Power, Indy Old Gate, Queen's Lock, Daughter Deer, 12 Bases, and Silver Lock are all pretty much close enough, if good enough. Silver Lock and Queen's Lock, it'd be difficult to tell those two apart when they come around the corner, won't it? But anyway, it's Strap Me Up, who is just about going to land in the lead, but had jumped by Fight the Power, and Fight the Power takes it up. Fight the Power from Strap Me Up, Silver Lock has now gone into third. And it's fighting the power. Strap me up. Silver lot. R R Rod Laver's trying to run on now. So is Black Widow and Jasmine. They've now only got a furlong and a half to go. And fight the power is the leader. Fight the power. Being pressed by Strap me up. And Silver Lock. Then comes Black Widow and Silver Lock. And they got one more 
flight to take and it's Silver Lock in the lead and Silver Lock runs in front from Strap Me Up in second. Silver Lock and Strap Me Up are ball clear of the remainder and it looks like Silver Lock is going to take it and Silver Lock is the winner with Strap Me Up second and Silver Lock two or Queen's Lock third and the field will trail back to paperwork as last for Silver Lock was it for Jim Murray. Strap Me Up for Derek Hinton was second. Queen's Lock for Jim Murray. Spot the difference if you can was third. Regazzoni fourth for James Follis and fifth was Black Widow for Molly at Surfer.